This is a small selection of my son's book collection. He has a lot of books I like reading. And I know the words to these and many, many other books completely by heart. So this video is giving you a few tips on how to learn large blocks of text, whether it's children's books or case studies for geography or examples for English, by heart. When I'm driving my toddler around and he's sitting in the back of the car and sometimes he'll turn around and go, Mummy, Zog, Zog, Zog. And I'm kind of like, oh, just what? And what he expects me to do is read him Zog. Obviously I can't read books, I'm driving, but I can tell him the story. And same with loads and loads of other stories. Stick man lives in the family tree with his stick lady love and their stick children three. One day he wakes early and goes for a jog. And I could go on and on, except I'd probably get sued for copyright. But I know lots and lots of large blocks of text by heart. So how do I know these? Well, first of all, I have read them loads and loads and loads of times. Out loud and I do voices and a performance and there's pictures, okay? These are interesting to read. Now I know loads of case studies you have to learn um, for geography, know loads of really like your oral presentations for um, your languages subjects, maybe aren't necessarily the most interesting things to learn but you could make them interesting. You could add pictures in there to remind you what came next, you could do like voices, I don't know how well that would go down necessarily in French, but you could try and make it a bit more interesting. Just because it's revision doesn't mean it have to look boring. Go and get some pink glitter pens or go and get some like really nice bright turquoise paper to write it out on. If you can visualise the page that you're trying to remember in your mind, it is going to make it a lot easier for you to recall in the exam instead of loads and loads of pages of black writing on white paper. That's not necessarily going to be that interesting. The other thing you can do is get like big mind maps and mind map the, the, the case study or the um, example that you're trying to learn but then cover up key facts with post-it notes. So you can put like the dates down and then put post-it note on top of them and then write dates on top of the post-it note and do kind of like a little lift the flap thing. What were the dates of this? Lift the flap and check. Or what were the sources correlating with this? Lift, lift the flap and check. Um, what you can also do is flashcards, flashcards, and then get somebody else to test you on them. So dates for this, flip them over, these are the dates. So just testing yourselves on all of the key facts. Um, I hope that was helpful guys. I hope my little bit of stick man isn't what sticks in your head about this video and that you take some useful things um, away for learning large blocks of text. Um, I know this is something that is really, really hard in exams, just the, the large amount of stuff that you have to recall. Um, start early, do it as much as you can, but don't spend ages and ages and ages just sitting staring at that one bit of paper because your brain just won't take things in. Mix things up a bit, um, maybe do kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and your brain will thank you for it. Um, there are loads more revision tips, techniques in this um, playlist here. Um, if you need any help, just ask.